All right, so right now I'm gonna show you how to take off the wheel of your three wheel scooter. Uh, you will need a wrench and a pair of pliers. Uh, this does have an Allen key spot, but the Allen key is rather large. So unless you have like a custom Allen key set, you'll probably need just like a pair of pliers or something to grab this bolt. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll clamp on here. We'll just remove this bolt. So on this side, you'll have a bolt. A locking washer. See that a little bit better. And then there is a flat washer here, if I can get it off easily. Flat washer. Now, when you remove the bolt from this side, you will want to be careful. Maybe hold your hand under it because there are two spacers under this wheel. And when you pull the bolt out, it's gonna let them free. You don't really want them to fall down in there. If they do, you can get them out, but it's just a little tricky. I'm pulling this wheels in here pretty good, so you have to pull it a little bit to get it out. Here we go. Oh, and both the spacers just fell, but I'm able to get them out. The spacers look like this. And there's two of them. And that's how you remove the wheel. Placing a wheel back on your three wheel scooter, the front wheel, is a little tricky, uh, only because there are the two spacers that fit on either side of the wheel here. So what I recommend doing to get this on the easiest is actually taking a piece of twine or thin rope and just threading the spacers on either side of the wheel through it. So that way you can thread the twine or rope through each hole here. So then once you have that pulled through each side, you'll kind of just guide your wheel back on through here. It might be easier just to hide the spacers in for the time being until you can get the wheel back on. Because if you try and do the spacers and the wheel side by side, it's, it's not gonna fit over the plastic. There we go. And once you have your wheel in, you can pull this through. And next, what you'll do is you'll take your bolt and you'll start to let's just make sure, make sure you have your holes lined up here. You can kind of see when you have the spacer in place. There we go. So now that I see my spacer through here. I can start to kind of pull this twine through so I can see it on both sides. The twine's a little stuck, so I kind of have to reposition a little. So once you see that you have these uh, spacers pretty much lined up with the holes, which it might take a little finagling with the rope to get them to the right place, I would turn the wheel this way and begin to thread it through. And once you see rope is going through, push the screw 
screw to follow the rope into the spacer. There we go, lost side of the spacer. And then you might need to reposition your wheel here. There we go. And now you can start to feed the screw in and follow the rope. Don't lose the rope because you want to make sure you're not losing the spacer on the other side. And finally you can push the screw through and it'll be through both spacers. A little tricky like I said but it is possible to get it through with the help of your rope. So then you will place your flat washer, followed by your locking washer, and then your bolt. You will re-grab your pliers and your wrench and just tighten it back up. And you're all set.